going in five, four, three, two, one. Hey guys, this is my face. Thank you all so much for the 100 subscribers, it really means a lot to me. Now that this is out the way, let's talk about what's happening. What you hopefully just saw was my level 1 certification rocket EON launching. But let's talk about certifications and what that means. In modern rocketry, there are three levels of certification, classified simply as level 1, level 2, and level 3. You get these certification levels to fly more powerful and larger rocket motors. Each model rocket engine is classed by a letter and a number. The letter is the generalization of power, and the number is the average thrust in newtons of the engine. Each sequential letter is double the power of the previous, so B is double the power of A, C is double the power of B, and so on. You need a license to fly any rocket motor over the power of G80. The level 1 certification allows you to fly up to an I650 class, the level 2 certification allows you to fly up to an L class, and the level 3 certification allows you to fly up to an O class. But after you've got your level 3, then you can build your own rocket engines and go to space if you want. <laughs> I've currently already built my level 1 certification rocket, and that's what I'll be showing you today. Right now, it is Saturday, February 3rd, and the launch is Sunday, February 4th, which means it's the day before launch, and I'm super stressed out. My design is a 1.3 kg, 1.2 meter long, and 3.1 inch diameter rocket. It is flying in an Aerotech H100 rocket motor, up to an apogee of around 600 meters. Apogee is the highest point in its flight. But because I've already built everything, let's wind back to when I started building it. Roll the montage. I put a lot of effort into designing and building this rocket, so leaving a like is greatly appreciated. It really helps me a lot. And if you're feeling generous, consider subscribing. That is amazing and will make me so happy, please. Also, subscribing means you never miss one of my videos, and that means I get to see you more, you get to see me more, we're all happy. So please, please subscribe. <laughs> now that I've built the rocket, let's talk about its design. Starting from the top down, here we have the nose cone. It is 3D printed from black PLA. It has just the amount of strength I need it to. Below the nose cone, we have the camera bay, which is where the GoPro sits. And it recorded the clip that you saw at the beginning of this video, so hopefully it works. <laughs> Along the, the green part here is the body of the rocket, and inside of it is the parachute. Coming to the very bottom now, we have the fin section. And inside the fins is where the motor sits, the rocket motor sits, right in here, in the end of that. Attached to the bottom of the camera bay is this yellow line here, made of Kevlar. It is a very strong fiber that takes all of the forces of the parachute and allows the rocket to come to the ground safely. We can actually take off the nose cone. If you look just inside there, that orange package there is the, the parachute itself wrapped up in its little fireproof blanket. It needs to be fireproof because once the rocket motor is burnt through all of its fuel, it hits a pocket of gunpowder, and this gunpowder explodes up the body of the rocket and into the parachute where it pushes it out and pushes off the nose cone. Then the nose cone flies out, pulls out the parachute, and it deploys, which I'm super nervous about. Now let's talk about what happens during launch. When the button for launch is pressed, it sends a small voltage through these wires. These wires have a bit of rocket fuel on the end of them, which causes it to burst into flames, which then that ignites the rest of the fuel inside the rocket engine, and it forces itself out and flies away. The vehicle soars into the sky, reaching half the speed of sound, and then about 10 seconds later, it's already burnt up all of its fuel, and that explosive charge I talked about earlier gets forced out and pushes out the nose cone. And over the course of the next 90 seconds, the rocket floats calmly on its parachute down to the ground, where I then go to pick it up. Once I've recovered the rocket, I present it to a person called an ACE. The ACE checks over the rocket if it's cracked or crumbled at all. And if it is, then it's an instant fail. But if the rocket is only scratched and with a few bumps, then I get allowed to send my certification attempt into these people in America called Tripoli. And these people allow me to fully get my level 1 license. I'm going to say thank you for watching now, as the rest of this video is just me getting prepared for launch tomorrow. I'd like to thank all of my friends and family who have supported me with my rocketry passion. I'd like to thank you, the viewer, for watching to this point in the video. See you next time.
It's a god awful small affair To the girl with the mousy hair But her mummy is yelling no And her daddy has told her to go But her friend is nowhere to be seen Now she walks through her sunken dream To the seat with the clearest view And she's hooked to the silver screen But the film is a sad thing for For she's lived it ten times or more She could spit in the eyes of fools Cause they have to suppose a song Fighting in the dance hall Is there life on Mars? As you can tell by this big crack down the side of my rocket, something went wrong in the flight. The ascent was very good, but let's talk about what happened towards the end of the flight. As the rocket reached Apogee, the highest point in its flight, the parachute was supposed to eject, but the delay was too long, and that caused it to start slowly falling down again into a ballistic trajectory. Luckily, the parachute did eject while in this downwards position, but sadly, because the parachute inflated and pulled really hard on the top of the rocket, it came back and the Kevlar line just cut through the body of the rocket, creating this long cut you see here. This means I failed my level 1 first attempt, but I'll be back next month and I'll be trying again, so stay tuned.